Good morning, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Delegates, Friends, Ladies and Gentlemen. To begin with our uh, deliberations, may I request you all to put your mobile phones in silent mode and keep them away from the microphones when you make use of them. I would also like to request you to speak in a reasonable pace to allow interpreters render accurate interpretations. Regarding item one, it is my pleasure to open the 110th session of the IOM Council. I would like to start by welcoming ambassadors and delegates representing members, members and observer states, representatives of international organizations and civil society, the Director General, the Deputy Director General, and all staff members of the organization. I am pleased to, to confirm that all credentials are in order and suggest that the Council take note of this. And this item is concluded. Under the second agenda item, I am pleased to present a brief report. Allow me first to express on behalf of my country our deepest gratitude to all members, member states of the IOM for the trust and confidence you have placed in us in electing us to serve as the, members, the member of the Bureau of the Council for the last three years, including my predecessor. The cycle ending today makes us proud as we believe that we have contributed our share in coordinating the activities of the Council throughout our collective efforts to strengthen the, IOM, the IOM's role in supporting member states and, most importantly, migrants who often find themselves in vulnerable situations. We have always believed that the work of the Council is extremely important in light of the fact that migration remains top global agenda. In that respect, I am pleased to report that the establishment of the United Nations Network of, on Migration to support the implementation, follow-up, and review of the global compact for safe, orderly, and regular migration, which the IOM had been designated to act as coordinator and secretariat during our chairmanship, comes as an important accomplishment. It is also important to note that the IOM has embarked on internal governance reform to make the organization fit for purpose. I have high hope that the incoming chair and the members of the Bureau will further strengthen the Council's role in implementation of the IOM's strategic plan and the Global Compact on Migration to ensure that migration remains safe, regular, and orderly. Finally, I would, I would like to say that it was a distinct honor and privilege to have, to have been given a chance to serve as chairperson of this August body. Finally, allow me to extend my deepest gratitude to the Bureau members, the Director General, and the Deputy Director, and 
Director General, and the staff of the IOM for the excellent collaboration and support provided to me during my chairmanship. In closing, I would like to wish the best to my successor in this position and want to assure the Bureau my full support in discharge of their mandate. I thank you. I now open the floor for any comments or questions, if any. If the Director General wants to make some comments. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, distinguished delegates, uh, I just take the floor to express uh, on behalf of uh, IOM's administration our deep appreciation for the role that you have played in chairing the Council. We had uh, one quite busy year. We have always benefited from your engagement and the engagement of the Bureau of the Council in working together closely in order to strengthen the role of IOM in the overall migration agenda. So I want to express in front of the Council my personal thanks for your engagement and your commitment and uh, being sure that we can go on counting with uh, your support in your capacity as representative of Ethiopia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Director General, for your kind words. We will now start with the election of the officers for the IOM Bureau. First, I invite the Council to nominate a candidate for the office of the chairperson of the Council. Accordingly, I would like to call on Her Excellency, Ms. Veronika Bard, Permanent Representative of Sweden. Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I have the honor to nominate my colleague, Ambassador Morten Jespersen, Permanent Representative to the United Nations in Geneva as Chair of the IOM Council Bureau. Ambassador Jespersen brings to the Bureau over 25 years of experience as a diplomat and substantial knowledge about development affairs and multilateral affairs. He previously served as Under Secretary for Global Development and Cooperation in the Danish development organization DANIDA and at the Danish Mission to the United Nations in New York. Ambassador Jespersen has also served as Denmark's ambassador in Nepal. In addition, he has valuable experience from working for the Danish foreign minister in China and on Africa-related matters. And Ambassador Jespersen has been the first uh, vice chair of the council for the last 12 months and served as well uh, and has served us very well. And I'm convinced that Ambassador Jespersen is em eminently suited to take over the responsibility as chair for the Council Bureau and will be an important asset both to the Bureau and the Member States. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency Ambassador, for your uh, nomination. I would like now to call on uh, His Excellency Mr. Kal Khalil Rahman Hashmi, Permanent Representative of Pakistan. Excellency, you have the floor for the second. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I have the honor to second the nomination of the candidature for the office of chairperson just made by my distinguished colleague, the Ambassador of Sweden. As highlighted by her, by her Ambassador Morton Jesperson will bring to the Council significant experience and outstanding guidance which will help further strengthen the role of the Council. Ambassador Jesperson's familiarity with IOM and the work of the Bureau, uh, as again uh, pointed out by my colleague, the Ambassador of Sweden, makes him the right person to lead our work during the year to come. I thank you.
Thank you, Excellency, for seconding the nomination. I would now like to ask the Council if it wishes to elect His Excellency Jesperson, permanent representative of Denmark, as chairperson of the Council. I see no objection. It is so decided. And I declare him elected. Now, I would like to invite the new chairperson, Ambassador Jesperson, to take his place at the podium. I would like to, to thank you all for, for the election, and I would like to, to thank uh, Ambassador Kocho for, for your good cooperation uh, through the last year. Thank you so much. We will now elect the other members of the Bureau. I therefore invite the Council to proceed with the election of a first Vice Chairperson and a second vice chairperson and a rapporteur. I would like, therefore, to call on His Excellency uh, Mr. Ricardo Gonzalez Arenas, permanent representative of Uruguay, to proceed with the nomination. Excellency, you have the floor. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much indeed, chairperson. And I'm honoured to take the floor to uh, nominate uh, His Excellency Mr. Ivan Garcia of the uh, Philippines, uh, Permanent Representative of the Philippines to the United Nations and other international organisations of Geneva, as first Vice Chairperson for the Council 2019-2020. His uh, wealth of experience of more than 30 years uh, as an ambassador in regional and uh, multilateral organisations um, focusing on migratory issues uh, very often, and his uh, commitment as uh, second uh, vice chair over the past two months are an excellent uh, uh, background. And I'm sure then, therefore, uh, that he will do an excellent job. Chair, I'd also like to nominate Her Excellency Ms. Socorro Flores Liera, permanent representative of Mexico to the United Nations uh, and other uh, international organizations in Geneva, uh, as second vice chairperson for the same period. Ambassador Flores Liera has a wealth of uh, experience in multilateral and uh, regional affairs. Uh, throughout her career, she has occupied a number of posts um, on behalf of her foreign ministry, both. Uh, in capital and abroad, and she has uh, taken part in the negotiation of uh, international instruments uh, on a number of occasions, and she was uh, successfully rapporteur um, for the Bureau over this last year. So we are sure that Ambassador Flora Zillera will do an excellent job as a second vice chairperson and contribute to the success of the work within this council. And then finally, I have the honor of uh, nominating His Excellency Mr. Lansana Alison Guiberi, uh, permanent representative of Sierra Leone, um, as rapporteur. Um, 
Um, the ambassador has an excellent uh, record of experience in the multilateral uh, environment, and I'm sure um, his experience uh, will guarantee that he will do an excellent job as rapporteur. So we are convinced that these three distinguished uh, ambassadors um, are perfect uh, for the um, proposed roles during the course of this year, which will be very important uh, for the future of IOM and uh, for uh, international migration governments. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Ambassador, for these nominations. I would now like to call on, on His Excellency Mr. Prenda Andreas Ananda, a permanent representative of Namibia. Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I wish to congratulate you on your election as chair of this group, of this council. I have the honor to second the nominations for the council bureau members just made by my distinguished colleague, the ambassador and permanent representative of Uruguay, His Excellency Ambassador Ivan P. Garcia, permanent representative of the Philippines as vice chair of the council bureau, Her Excellency Ambassador Socorro Flores Liera, permanent representative of Mexico, as, vi as second <laughs> vice chair of the Council Bureau, and His Excellency Ambassador Lansana Allison Berry, permanent representative of Sierra Leone, as rapporteur of the Council Bureau. His Excellency, the Ambassador of Uruguay, has highlighted some of the professional qualities of these distinguished nominees. I fully agree and I am convinced that they will bring their vast and rich experience to the Bureau and will help further strengthen its role and guide our collective efforts. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you for seconding the nominations. Does the Council wish to elect the two Vice Chairpersons and the Rapporteur as nominated and seconded? I see no objections. I declare them elected. Now, I sh Now, I should like to propose that the Council adopt the Provisional Agenda, Document C-110-1, Rev. 1. Are there any comments? Namibia? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, on behalf of the African Group, I wish to congratulate you on your election as Chair of this Council Bureau. Please count on our support and cooperation during the tenure of at, of, at your helm of, the, of this Council. Before the adoption of the agenda, I wish to request clarity from the Secretariat whether the agenda item 10A was placed on the agenda for an update on the proposal of the Director General or for a decision or action to be taken by this Council as it was not proposed by the previous Council at its previous meeting. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I would like to give the floor to the Director General for uh, uh, a word of clarification. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chair. Since it's the first time I take the floor after your election, let me join the members of the Council in congratulating you and the members of Peru for the election and uh, reiterate to you our full commitment to work closely with you and with the Bureau in order to strengthen the role of IOM. Good luck. Uh, in order to address the issue uh, that has been raised by the Honourable Representative of Namibia, 
Uh, we believe that uh, the point of the agenda that uh, the Honourable Member has uh, referred to uh, requires a clarification from uh, our side. In order to take stock of the intensive rounds of consultations that the administration has led in the, last, in the past uh, few months, and uh, when taking stock of the consultations, our assessment is that uh, the necessary broad consensus that I believe is required for a successful reform of the strengthening of the top leadership of the organization is not yet met, and so we look forward to go ahead in order to deepen those uh, consultations and come to what we believe can be a positive outcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, with these clarifications and in absence of, uh, of any proposal to amend the provisional agenda, um, could we then uh, declare the agenda adopted? I see no objections. Agenda adopted.